My name is Xander Pollock. I'm a product design consultant and I facilitate design sprints. Today we're in Fort Mason in San Francisco, California at the headquarters of the Golden Gate National Park Conservancy. So the Golden Gate National Park Conservancy is a nonprofit. So they do fundraising and then use those funds to take care of the natural parks. They have an idea for a service where they can help people, uh, specifically help companies plan corporate events utilizing the beautiful area that we're in. They hired me and put a team together so that we could build a prototype of that service and then get feedback before they invest all that time and energy and money into making that happen. A design sprint takes the best of design thinking and business strategy and team dynamics and condenses it into five days. So the whole goal of that five days is to produce a prototype. And a prototype is a fake version of an idea. So the fake version could be a fake app, it could be a service, it could be a new business idea, but a prototype is a way to try that idea out before you invest a whole lot of time and energy into it. And a design sprint helps us do that. It helps us go from idea to prototype. And once you have a prototype, you can show it to people and get their feedback. The first day is map. What, what other questions are in people's heads that need to be answered before you could leave this room and start? What's the long-term goal of this project? We get everybody in the room on the same page. Um, we, we interview experts and we take notes on the ideas that they give us. And by the end of the day, we have a good sense of the challenge and some information to move forward with. That takes us into Tuesday, which is Sketch. Sketch is where we start to come up with solutions for the challenges we outlined on Monday. Uh, this is a solution sketch, and this is the big uh, task of today. At the end of the day, we're going to have a stack of at least a dozen of these. It's one scenario that a customer could go through to book, to book a venue. By the end of Tuesday, we have a stack of solutions, a stack of ideas to eventually get us to our prototype. But before we build a prototype, we're on Wednesday. And Wednesday is Decide, where we evaluate all of those solutions. Escape from Alcatraz. There's a boat ride. Map with clues. You collect clues, you collect keys, you use the flashlight in the dungeon. Maria, this is yours, right? Yeah. Cool. We go through a, a voting process where everybody votes, their opinion is heard. Um, and at the end of the day, we have a couple of ideas that we work with and we turn those into a storyboard, which is the plan for our prototype. That takes us into Thursday, and Thursday is where we build a prototype. Now, today's goal in prototype is to turn this into something that looks and feels real. So the entire day, Thursday, the whole team works together to build a prototype of this thing. At the end of the day, Thursday, we have this prototype ready to go, and that takes us into Friday, which is test. And test is where we show the prototype to customers to get their feedback, to get their opinion. Campground, Kirby Cove Campground, Hayfrost Campground, or Alcatraz. Cool. Oh my god, what about Alcatraz be like? <laughs> And so in five days in a design sprint, you can go from idea to prototype to getting customer feedback in a really fast, efficient, effective, uh, productive way that's a lot of fun for teams at the same time. I thought it was really great, and I was surprised how much we got done. We're sort of nearing the um, completion of our prototype, and in our case, that's a, a website that shows off some of the best of what we can offer to the corporate community in terms of experiences in these parks. What makes it unique is the compressed time frame, the team environment, and having um, consistent participation throughout. Having Xander here and having him like keeping us on track and guiding us, part of it is just the way it's structured. It's pretty clear step by step. And then I think the other part of it is that we're all in the same room together and, and it's a lot of time working together in the same room that is kind of a unique experience. You think that if like more time would allow for more creativity, I think imposing those deadlines actually uh, forces you to be more creative. It's really nice to just stop everything and focus on this one thing um, and try to get it done. I think any organization actually could use this uh, format and I I think it's really good for a project such as this. Uh, probably the more complicated the project, the better. And well, I think nonprofits, for profit companies, can, anybody could use this um, because everybody's always doing some kind of a new project.